Hello, thank you so much for coming back to watch this week's beauty throwback. So, happy September 1st. So, very first of the month I always do a foundation review and I'm kind of mixing the two. So today for you, I have the OG CoverGirl Clean Matte Foundation and Pressed Powder. So if you'd like to see me putting it on, wear test, thoughts and everything, then please keep on watching. Like I said, I do upload a daily video all about budget beauty, so make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. I also do a live stream every Sunday night at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so come hang out, come chat with me. I really do love getting to know my viewers and subscribers. Okay, so I used to wear this foundation back when I was in middle school, so that would have been like, uh, so I started high school in 1999. Oh my gosh, so yeah, it would have been the mid-90s that I was wearing this, and it's when all the colors were orange. That's the last time I used this stuff, but I do have the CoverGirl Clean Matte Liquid Foundation in Creamy Natural, and then I have the Classic Ivory Powder, so... I'm ready to do this. Um, I'm excited. But yeah, so this is supposed to give you like a medium coverage, shine free. It is, um, of course, oil free, unscented, and it's cruelty free. So let's just get into it. My skin is clean and um, I have slightly, lightly moisturized it because I'm sitting here right now already sweaty. But you do get the standard 30 uh, mil or a fluid ounce. And then here is the powder. Oh my gosh, the little poof. I love it. Um, I used to use this back when it still smelt like um, Noxzema. I mean, yeah, that's how long ago. But let's go ahead and give this a go. Yeah, it just smells like foundation. Doesn't have a pump. So I'll put about that much out onto my hand. And we'll just go ahead. Hope this color isn't too light. I'm trying to do better at making sure I'm trying to get shades that kind of match. So, okay, so I am breaking out a little bit. Just the way things are right now, so. Let's see if it will do a little bit of coverage, but let's see. Just going to use my little Yo Twin Puff. It's blending out smoothly. say this right now is like light coverage. I feel like their clean matte um, BB cream has more coverage than this, but we'll definitely try to build it up a little. See if we can do that. I mean, it looks fresh. It looks natural, which not, there's no problem with that. You know, a lot of people, they don't need a ton of coverage. I just need a little bit more. So I'm just going to do a tiny bit more back onto the back of my hand. Why do they, why are they still making these without a pump? I mean, I'm, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm just, I mean, I'm just being serious. Like, all foundations should have a pump. Unless it's like a squeeze tube. If it's a squeeze tube. Okay. So it is definitely building, which is good. I'm going to go right underneath my eyes because I'm not going to wear concealer today. I just really want to see the coverage with this one. I do feel like it did build a little. So yeah, I think it is looking pretty nice. I do think it's about a medium coverage right now, which is good. But this is what it's looking like. Yeah, I think it looks pretty nice, honestly. Um, it's not looking cakey. It looks pretty natural, so. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and use the poof to set my T-zone area. Ooh, little light, but it's okay. <laughs> I look crazy. 
Okay, I'm just going to grab my powder brush and get this knocked off. Just... The powder is definitely pretty mattifying. Very finely milled though. A little bit of kick up. I think it's looking pretty nice. Covered my zits pretty good. So, okay, so that is what the foundation and powder is looking like together. Feels very lightweight, which is nice. So, um, it is about 10.30 in the morning, so I will be definitely doing check-ins. I got cleaning to do, I got other filming to do. So, so far, um, I'm kind of on like mixed thought, but I will definitely tell you more in a little bit when I come in to check in and show you what this foundation and powder is looking like. Okay, so I have been doing a little bit of cleaning. It's been probably about half an hour. I just want to show you what's going on of my upper lip. It's like I sweated and I have all this powder and stuff that's kind of clumped up and reacted with the sweat. It looks really bad, so I'm going to try to like... Yeah, that's bad. Anyway. Hello, so it is currently 7.50 in the evening, so I've had this foundation and powder on for almost nine and a half hours. We walked to the store, I did a lot of cleaning, a lot of cooking, and I do have to say this foundation did hold up pretty well. My hands are clean, but I know I got pretty oily around my nose, but it's not really transferring off, even in my mask that I had to wear, obviously. There was just a little bit of wearing like on the inside of the mask, but it does look pretty nice. Um, some pros and cons with this foundation. It did keep me pretty matte, I think. Um, but like I showed in the earlier little clip, um, the minute sweat kind of interacted with that powder on my upper lip, it just kind of turned it gummy. I was able to kind of rub it and it did dissipate and go away. But powder is kind of iffy for me. Um, foundation isn't the highest coverage. It is light to maybe low medium. It does build. It doesn't look cakey on the skin. And it didn't settle horribly into my forehead line. So... Kind of on the fence with the um, CoverGirl Clean Matte Foundation and Powder. I will de definitely continue to use it, but I definitely think there are better ones out there. But I mean, these are also super affordable. I think if you have um, maybe not a lot of cover, but you just really want to keep your skin matte, then I think you would really like these. Like I said, I'm going to continue to use these. I do think if I used concealer first and then applied foundation, I think that would... I think it would look beautiful. I don't think that would be a problem at all. So I do like it. Um, and I enjoyed using this beauty throwback because it really was a throwback for me. Because like I said, I did use this foundation and powder in middle school. So a very long time ago. And it is better from what I remember like now. So, um, but yeah, it's not a bad product. It's just you kind of got to work with it. Don't go over about board on the powder and just don't expect a ton of coverage with the foundation. But besides that, it's not a bad foundation and powder. And it did keep me very matte, but not in a dry, cracky, crepey looking way. But sweating, hot, and my skin looks really nice for it being almost 10 hours of wear. So not disappointed. Just I got to definitely tweak some things a little bit. But anyway... I hope you enjoyed this month's foundation review and like demo and everything. And I also hope that you enjoyed this week's beauty throwback. If you did, go and give the video a thumbs up and share it. Leave a comment down below. What foundation did you wear when you first started wearing makeup? I would love to know down below in the comments. And 
just so you know, um, I will go ahead and link these down below for you. It will be an Amazon affiliate link. You're welcome to use it, but you definitely don't need to, but it will be there if you want to. And then, let's see here. You can also um, check out my Macari page where I sell discount beauty stuff, so hair, makeup, skincare, all sorts of stuff. I also have another YouTube channel where I upload seven days a week all about budget food. And I also have a Facebook group where we kind of hang out and chat and stuff, so I'll have all three linked down below for you. You're always welcome to follow me on my other social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. It's all at Budget Glam Babe. Don't go anywhere quite yet. Another video should start autoplaying here very shortly. Or you can always click on one of the ones that will be popping up around the screen. But yeah, I'll see you here in just a sec.